Hi, my name is Angela Eureka Smith and I'm 47 years old. Last year, I weighed almost 200 pounds and I could barely walk to the end of the block. Today, I weigh 140 pounds and I just ran my first 5K. For the first 20 pounds, I didn't even exercise. How did I do it? With the help of 310 and giving up sugar. And I'm gonna tell you how to do it too. Last year, I wasn't happy with myself. As I said, I weighed nearly 200 pounds. I worked at least 40 hours a week at a, at a desk job. I was an editorial assistant at a newspaper. And after work, I would come home and I would sit on my computer and I would write more for another eight hours sometimes. So I really didn't get a lot of physical activity. I was really overweight and I felt terrible. I was happy with myself, but I wanted to be better. I wanted to feel better. At the beginning of 2016, I swore I was gonna finally lose this extra weight. The closer I got to 50, 47, the harder I knew it was gonna be. It was kinda now or never. I tried everything from eating nothing, going on starvation diets. Doesn't work. And I had cabbage for a week. I tried the cabbage only diet for a week. And I tried prepackaged diet meals, you know, where you buy them from the store and they're already made, and they make big promises. And I stayed on these things for about a month, spent a whole lot of money, lost two pounds and they started giving me migraines so the prepackaged meal plan wasn't for me either i even towards the end right before i almost gave up I, I was so determined i walked four to five hours every night after work i mean i i'd come home from work and i would start walking and still nothing nothing came off it was very frustrating last may i had just not given up but my husband convinced me to watch a documentary called Fed Up. And it was all about, you know, how sugar's evil and give up sugar. And, and I was like, sugar can't be that bad. It's, it's natural, right? Sugar is okay. So, but I watched it and it made a lot of really good claims. So I, I decided tr to try it. I was gonna try giving up sugar. I mean, I'd tried everything else. I might as well try giving up sugar, right? So I started focusing on what I could eat, not all the things that I couldn't eat. And what I focused on was meat, vegetables, and fruits. I decided I could only have meat, vegetables, and fruits and nothing else. At this time, I also always had a meal replacement shake for breakfast. But the meal replacement shake that I, that I had had sugar in it. And I really can't eat before 10 o'clock in the morning. It just doesn't do well for me. So I kind of have coffee and then maybe about 10 o'clock in the morning I might eat something, which we know isn't healthy. So years ago, I started always having a meal replacement shake for breakfast. Well, when I was looking for a meal replacement shake with no sugar, I only found one really. I mean, there was this other brand that I found, but it tasted like sand and I'm not going to have sand for breakfast every morning. I mean, let's be honest. And then I found this other one called 310 Nutrition. And so I started having, I ordered the 310 Nutrition. In May, early, early May, I was headed to a writer's conference. My bag of 310 Nutrition came in the mail right as I was leaving for this writer's conference. So I was like, well, I, don't, I, I can control myself in a hotel and I'm gonna be really busy doing all this writer's conference stuff. So I grabbed my bag of 310 and I headed out the door. And I wound up losing five pounds that week. It was like a four day, four day conference and I lost five pounds. I was hooked on this whole no sugar idea. I was hooked on this 310 nutrition stuff. It, since January, I hadn't been able to lose two pounds. And now suddenly in four days, I lost five pounds. I was pretty happy. After that, it was pretty simple. I had meat, vegetables, and fruit, 310 nutrition for breakfast and lunch, and I had no processed grains at all because I found out that processed grains like breads turn into sugar in your system. So you just you may as well just eat sugar. In the first month, I lost 20 pounds. I seriously had a coworker following me around the office going, you're melting. Oh my God, look at you, you're melting. Suddenly my clothes were fitting. I started out as a size 16 and by the end of the month, I was in a size 14. <laughs> I'm like thrilled. This has never been this easy. I lost those 20 pounds and I was inspired. And then suddenly I stopped losing weight. I plateaued, I found out. Um, of course, during this time, I had no exercise at all. I did nothing but give up sugar. Boom, 20 pounds, like that, boom. So a friend of mine, a dear, dear friend of mine named Sarah, uh, suggested that I 
start exercising. Um, and, and what she said is because I was used to hauling around 20 pounds, which is like a bag of dog food. I mean, that's a lot of weight. I was used to hauling around this extra 20 pounds and now I didn't have it. So my body wasn't having to work as hard. It had maintained it, or it was maintaining. So I started exercising and I was very embarrassed to go to a gym. I'm, I'm in a gym now because I love gyms now but I was really embarrassed to go work out in front of anybody. I didn't want anybody to see me. So I went in my bathroom in my underwear and I marched in place and kind of like with music going for, you know, at first like five minutes, that's all I could handle. And I was dying. I started working it up five minutes, 10 minutes. In two months, I got up to about an hour. And so I'm, you know, doing this for an hour with my headphones going, that was it. And I decided I was getting bored and I wanted to get out into the great world. And, and plus I, you know, didn't look so embarrassing anymore. So I really kind of wanted to show this off. And so I started running and I just Googled how many miles can you run in an hour average? And it came up with five. So the first day I ran five miles, but that's kind of like a whole nother story how I did that. I just want to talk about how I lost weight. Doing that, just sitting in my bathroom, you know, for an hour, I wound up losing another 20 pounds. I was still giving up sugar. I was still just, you know, having a 310 nutrition shake in the breakfast and at lunch. That's all I was doing. Just meat, just vegetables, no processed grains, no sugar, no artificial sweeteners. Artificial sweeteners are, are worse for you than sugar. Um, they're actually, look it up. They're finding out that artificial sweeteners can actually promote diabetes, not prevent it. So in November, I started running, and if there is one thing that I could change, it would be to lose the, all the weight that I wanted to before I started hardcore running. Because when I started running, I stopped losing weight. I was still losing inches, but I couldn't lose weight anymore because I was building muscle. So that was a little bit of a frustrating time because the scale was not moving, and I'm running five miles a day. Hello, why can't I get skinny? But I felt fantastic. I had loads of energy. I mean, this whole time giving up the sugar, I didn't feel like I was dieting because I had so much energy. I felt so great. It, it was really wonderful. I had joint pain that went away. All kinds of like little issues went away when I gave up sugar. So my goal was to hit 140. And through the holidays, I had Christmas in there and the running and everything. April 1st, this is not a joke. April 1st, I hit my 140 mark and I was so, so, so excited to see that 140 number shining up at me. It was pretty incredible. I was like really happy. You can also find all of this information on my blog, dandyfluff.com. When I lost the first five pounds, I got so excited. I started checking in once a week, weighing myself, taking pictures of the scale, taking pictures of my progress. So all that documentation is on dandyfluff.com. You can find the link down below. Please send me your comments. Please, please leave me your comments and tell me how awesome you're doing. Ask me your questions because I wanna answer them. We can do this together. And speaking of comments, you tell me where you are in your weight loss journey. What have you found that works for you? What have you found that's not working? And share it, share it below in the comments. Let's keep in touch. I'm Angie Rico Smith. Thanks for watching.